How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video. So over the past few days, the videos have been quite low morale. Bioware hasn't been doing well. That's pretty plain and clear. The changes they're doing is pretty much hampering the enjoyment of all the player base. However, in this video, we're throwing all that away. What we're assuming here is that they fixed the loot, crashes, quick play, random strongholds, the balancing of weapons, everything is fixed. Assume Anthem was in a place where we could finally call it a launch build. I know it's pretty hard to imagine that will ever happen, but just imagine that it did. This is my top six features that I would like to see introduced to Anthem in order to improve the game outside of raids. At number six, I would like more varied weapon design. I appreciate we don't really get to see the weapons, but when we do actually get the weapon and have a look at the inscriptions and what's available on there, we do get to see a nice weapon, right? We can turn it around and see what it's like. So overall, I would like to see more varied weapon design because currently it just looks like complete reskin after reskin and well, no one likes the reskin, right? At number five, dungeons. They underutilized, make them useful. Give them a boss at the end of clearing every single one out, albeit a mini boss, one that spawns a chest at the end and gives you meaningful new. Make It doesn't have to have the highest drop rate, it can have a tailored drop rate to compensate for the rarity, for the rarity of the boss, but overall I think dungeons could be explored more and made more use of because at the present time they are a completely and utterly ignored piece of content and outside of the loot bugs happening and people running in there, people never venture into them. So it's definitely something I would like to see explored more and made use of and give us and given a reason to actually go into them and clearing them out and finding some awesome loot. So we've got the Scar, Dominion and Outlaws, right? Those are the three enemy factions that we're facing against. Currently our weapons are pretty much Arcanist based or just generic weapons. Well, I'd like to see some weapons themed around the Scar, themed, weapons themed around the Dominion, the Outlaws, you know, weapons with unique traits to each of these enemy factions that we can utilize and use against them. If we're fighting the Scar and we use a Scar themed weapon, it could do more damage to Scar, same for the Dominion and the Outlaw. Sure, we can't change gear when we're out we can't change weapons when we're out in the open field, but we can at least start to vary what type of weapons we take and have a nice balance between a Scar and a Dominion and so forth. Overall, I think this would be a really nice change and one that would help our loadout decisions that bit more. So having Scar themed, Dominion themed and Outlaw themed weapons with specific perks for each of the factions, in my opinion, would be a great addition to the game. Number three, Stronghold exclusive weapons. Now the way I see these are pretty much how Bungie does their exclusive raid exotics. These weapons are going to be the coveted prize for that stronghold. We have the Tyrant Mine, the Temple of Scar, we have the Heart of Rage. So essentially we will have three specific tailored exclusive stronghold weapons and these will be pretty special weapons. These will also have the ability to be upgraded, to be made better. These will be the only weapons for now that can have like a progression tree that will unlock as you go along as you make them better. Sure, they will not be the best weapon all because it will just make the other weapons completely redundant. But one is a weapon that you would want to get. Two is a weapon you're going to want to fully unlock and utilize. And three, for the conditions that it will be useful in, it will be the best in its class. Again, it's not going to be a jack of all trades, but a weapon for specific purpose, something to grind for, something to go for, something to work towards that you can see progressing each time you upgrade it. Something like this I think would benefit Anthem yet again exponentially. Number two, quested gear items. Meaningful quests, not just fetch quests, but adding side quests like an exotic quest from Destiny. Something like that, but actually having a lore story progression through it. So as you go along, you actually, you know, find a reason why you're unlocking this. And these quested items are to be high-end gear that actually make a meaningful impact into your arsenal. So again, giving you further reason just to utilize the open world and go out and do stuff that you wouldn't otherwise do. 
quested gear is always nice off. And number one, this one can be quite controversial, but I do believe something like this would actually benefit Anthem more than people imagine. A weekly quest for a random legendary item. Yes, you heard me right. An actual quest for one legendary every week. Now they can make this one require you to do say 15 legendary contracts, 10 strongholds in order to complete it. It's a separate standalone quest from everything else. Make it have its own specific grind that will basically put you through a challenge, a chore, a kind of a kind of grind that will basically show that you've earned the right to claim this legendary item. It will be completely random and guarantee you one legendary a week, that's four a month. So even if you have the worst RNG in the world, you will still know that if you follow through with the set objectives, whatever Bioware decide or deem it fit to put there, you'll be guaranteed a legendary item for your arsenal. Of course this is not going to guarantee the inscriptions are going to be any good, this is only going to guarantee the fact that a legendary will drop. I think these six fundamental things are really important and if they add any of these into the game, I think the game will benefit a whole lot. As a bonus entry, I know I didn't, I know I said I wasn't going to mention it, but we don't know anything about cataclysms, so raids. Raids are something that we could do more of. We have strongholds, bring in a strike type system, you know, quests that are like strongholds but much more lighthearted, like strikes from destiny, something like this would actually be pretty cool. So there's two bonuses thrown in for two awesome ideas that would actually work in the world of Anthem. You let me know in the comment section below which one of these you liked. Did you like did you like the varied weapon designs, the dungeons having more of an impact, enemy faction themed weapons, stronghold exclusive weapons, quested gear items for you to work towards, or even simply just for the chance of getting a legendary item by completing a challenge set weekly. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, how you feel about something like these being added to the game, what are your thoughts, what are your feelings, let me know in the comment section below, let's have a conversation, and I'll see you in the next Anthem video. Remain Legend.